Hello guys, in the last session we saw how to make a hair cascade classifier for detecting face with mask. If you are missing it, I am giving the link in the description, you can fetch it from there. In this session we will see how to use our hair cascade to detect faces with mask. Welcome to our session. Okay guys, this is our classifier file we had made uh, in the last section. You can see myhair.xml. I had already copied this to our folder. Yeah, this is our Python code. And you can see on the same folder, our classifier file is there. And I had opened it on a, a PyCharm ID. You can use any other uh, ID, no issues. Uh, detect mask.py. Yeah, this is our program. You can see our classifier is loaded here, uh, maskhar.xml. Uh, first of all, you want to import uh, our OpenCV, that is CV2. And uh, for installing it, you can just open your terminal and type pip install OpenCV uh, Python. Okay, so uh, this way you can install OpenCV. And I had already installed it, so I am just skipping that step. And this is a machine learning approach. Here we have already trained our file uh, that is our uh, maskhar.xml. Okay, now we want to give this for capturing our video or image from a webcam. You can see here cvt.video uh, capture. Uh, next, uh, we are starting a loop. You can see here continuous loop while true. And here you can see cap.read. Uh, from, uh, from this device, we want to read uh, each frame and store it here. And next is gray is equal to cv2 dot cvt color because uh, we need to change it to gray uh, scale image. You can see here uh, cv2 dot color uh, bgr to gray bgr to uh, gray scale. We want to change our image to uh, color to gray scale image because it is good for uh, processing and all. And if if it is uh, colored image, uh, then uh, our processing will be little bit complex. So. Uh, we need to change it to grayscale image for processing so it is uh, very easy to process and next you can see face is equal to face uh, resource cascade or detect multi scale okay, here we want to give three arguments first one is the image you can see here our grayscale image and second one is the scaling factor and last one is our minimum minimum neighbors what is uh, scaling factor means it specifies how much the image size is reduced with each scale and last one we said that it is minimum neighbor uh, that means it specifies how many neighbors each candidate rectangle should have written it that is this parameter will affect the quality of the detected object and uh, here in, in our case it is face with mask and high value result in uh, less detection but with higher quality okay guys now uh, here we are looping over the faces for drawing rectangles over the faces uh, with mask here in our case it uh, faces with mask uh, here you can see first argument is image and uh, it is not grayscale image uh, which we have defined here it is not image uh, that is uh, we here we are not processing the image uh, we just want to uh, draw rectangles on the live image so this image is uh, from here that is uh, from the live capturing uh, video and okay and the next coordinate is x y and it is the starting coordinates of rectangle it is represented as tuples of two values that is x and y value and next is uh, in, in, in point that is it is uh, in coordinates of rectangle and next is color here you can see rgb this is 25500 that means a uh, blue color and two is the thickness of our rectangles border line and next is cv2 dot im uh, im show that is im show uh, function will uh, show our image on a window uh, img is a string or a name for our window uh, that that will display our image or a video and img this img is our uh, image that is our captured frames or our video okay guys ne next is our weight key function our function weight key will wait for a uh, key event for a delay that is here 30 milliseconds you can see here and it is used because uh, i am show function of high gui needs a call of weight key, weight key regularly in order to process its event loop that is if you don't call the weight key high gui cannot process windows events like redraw resizing input events etc and as you can see here if k equal to 27 that means uh, if the key pressed is escape key then break and at last we want to release our capturing device here is our webcam 
uh, cap dot read uh, here you can see uh, we had given here um, video capture so we want to release our uh, device at last now we can run our program yeah okay guys okay now i am going to show some images uh, here i am not wearing mask so it is not detecting me there so i am showing some images with mask okay i am just turning off the light so okay It's perfect then I'm showing some yeah it is detecting you can see here yeah. what happened yeah now it's okay okay now I am using okay an image with multiple faces uh, with mask yeah perfect you can see here it's perfectly uh, detecting our uh, fa faces with mask i hope you enjoyed this section guys if so please like this video and consider subscribing my channel and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this session feel free to contact me we can see in the next video till then